Indian Pride Night offers many new opportunities for students, parents, and teachers. Helping Hands was set up in the library giving out coffee, cookies, and tea. They also do this in the morning before school. Hot dogs and chips were provided in the gym. The foreign language hallway set up tables serving German pretzels, homemade salsa, and horchata. Tickets were being distributed throughout Pride Night to be put in a raffle to win prizes. Instead of having each individual parent meet with the teacher, Indian Pride Night allows parents to come and go as they like from the booths put together by the teachers. The science teachers had experiments and equipment set up to involve the parents and students. The math teachers even had a drawing to win a free graphing calculator. Hayes High offers many clubs for students to join. These clubs vary from chess club to knitting club. A variety of them were set up in the gym. Having many different clubs for students to join allows equal opportunity for all students to get involved. Many of the booths were interactive to allow students to experience what the club has to offer. Guitar Club, run by Mr. Whitney, entertained people by playing guitar in the gym. They have meetings every Wednesday in room 116 after school. Whitney offers free guitar lessons on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Parents and students had the opportunity to get signatures from the athletes of Hayes High. The fall sports schedule is located on the Hayes High website for those interested. Down in the E building, the medals teacher was showing parents how the machines work. The art club displayed their work and Tribe Broadcasting had their awards and YouTube channel on display. HHITA students showed their parents the projects they've been working on. We spoke with a teacher and a parent to get their perspective on the event. I like this Pride Night because I think it's more informal, relaxed, and you've got different ways that um, you're bringing parents in, not just to talk to teachers, but coaches, activities, athletes, there's a little bit of everything um, enticing people to, to come in. I like the Pride Night setup uh, better than the years past when we had the open house because it's more free, come and go. You can stop where you want to to find out the information. You don't have to sit there and do the mail schedule like the kids are going to do. You can go to the information, get what you want, and move on with your day. 